Hey folks, Carl here from the RO Bucket. Uh, today I'm going to run you through the installation of our flow meter set, which are available on our website. We have those available for the RB10 through RB25 models as one package that uses a, a certain set of fittings. And then also for our single post unit, which will use half inch fittings. So uh, you need to buy the right kit for the right unit that you're using. We don't really recommend these flow meter sets for the RB5, just because the flows are relatively low and they don't register really well on the scale for the meter. We're going to assemble this on a cart today, but you would put this on the wall of your sugar house or something like that, but the cart's just kind of easy for me to, to do a setup. So when you buy this, it's going to come with two meters and a couple pieces of hose. And when you buy the set for the bucket or RB2025 set, it, one of the meters is going to have a needle valve built into it. This is going to be in place of the current needle valve on your system. So you're not going to use the existing needle valve. Uh, once you use this meter set, you're going to use the built-in uh, needle valve on the concentrate meter. And then the other meter is just going to be a plain meter with no valve, and this is your permeate or water meter. So this is going to tell us how much water we're producing. Um, this plate <clears throat> comes with our uh, kit if you buy the, the single post flow meter set. Uh, we don't provide any mounting hardware for the bucket models just because there's so many different ways that people could, that people could mount those. Um, and that's a lot of them are not a dolly, so it's not really going to help you that much with a bucket setup. So there's two nuts here on the back side of this. You're going to thread those off, take them off your concentrate meter as well, and then this plate actually has a little plow through it if you're installing this on a. Uh, on a single post kit so it fits right around this strap and then we straddle that like so install your nuts on the back you want to mount these as vertical as possible <clears throat> and you want to get them in a place where you can easily get to the rear outlets so that it's a little easier to plumb So the, met, uh, the methodology behind these is you're going to flow into the bottom and flow out of the top. When you flow into the bottom, there's a little uh, stainless steel ball in there. And the liquid, the fluid, uh, raises that ball up based on the amount of flow coming out this chamber. So as the flow increases, there's a higher velocity of flow allowing that needle to move up higher and then register on this, on this scale. So once we get those installed, we're going to take the provided fittings. I'm going to use my quarter inch fittings for the concentrate side. And I'm going to use my 3 8 fittings for the permeate side because I have quarter inch red concentrate hose and I have 3 8 inch uh, permeate hose on our RB10 through RB25 models. So I'll thread those in. <clears throat> the threads on the meters are quarter inch NPT and or half inch NTP. So there's an inner fitting that's quarter and then an outer fitting that is half inch. We use the half inch fitting on our single post model. What I'm going to do now is remove my needle valve. You can keep that for a spare if you're ever in a pinch. Um, a lot of times if the system freezes these needle valves will go bad so it's always nice to have a spare. I'm going to flow my concentrate tube into the bottom and use the provided section of hose to flow out the top and this is my new concentrate outlet and this is going to be my metering device my new needle valve that I use to set the flow on my system uh, it's best to sort of just plumb these right into your sugar house don't be carrying these back and forth with your bucket system when you're ready to be done just unhook it and leave the meters you know where they are and just take your bucket system back with you the way you normally would we're going to take our permeate outlet, we're going to hook that into the bottom. We're going to flow out of the top, and again, this is my new water outlet. So now these are my two outlets I'm going to use. So when you're running your system, now when you dial it in, you'll be able to read the flows of each side for your concentrate and your permeate. As always, if you have any questions when you're setting this up, uh, feel free to get a, give us an email, sales at brobucket.com, or visit our Facebook group. Uh, the RO Bucket Information Exchange for more information. Thank you.